That's not a very happy morning, I assume. Good morning to you. Good morning. Thank you. Uh, from whatever Nagu said, he's been dedicated to startups and he's been, you know, starting up all over again. Uh, <coughs> Way back when I was in standard 8 or 9, and I think he got it extremely correct. Last 16 years, <coughs> maybe over a dozen companies. <laughs> You know, Nagarantas and talking to them about business is probably a, a great privilege that Nagu has actually given me. I think I started business for one very simple reason. I had to pay my school fees. I had to buy books. I had to pay for the school uniform. Yeah. My father was too straightforward a person, but unfortunately, he landed up in a sales job. Yeah. Absolutely no sink at all. So if he goes to work for six months, he would be at home for another six months. <laughs> so we started something way back in seventh standard called Friends and Pals, a small library. I was given the best of education, probably one of the best ICIC <laughs> schools in the Chennai city, just down this road called Venkata Subarao. It used to be a great school then. Yeah. There was no lack of giving quality education. But having done that, there was a lot of difficulty in even paying for it. So my sister used to take tuitions at home right from her then standard. So I started a small library, 200 rupees, 300 rupees per month, which was a big money way back in, you know, the mid 80s that I'm talking about. Yeah. <clears throat> Today, everybody is talking about entrepreneurship, right from Modi to Lady, okay? Everybody is talking about entrepreneurship. Everybody wants to uh, change uh, the way India is, change the way Tamil Nadu is, you know. And the whole slogan today, right from Narayana Murthy, they are all talking about, let us become job givers than being job seekers, right. So they believe that entrepreneurship can change the whole dynamics of this country. So what is this entrepreneurship all about? What is it that I have learned? I just offered something to Nagu a few minutes back seeing this uh, crowd. I thought it's going to be, you know, the typical uh, Chitya crowd, you know. Uh, I don't know, I have some uh, for, uh, without, you know, the only two Chitya that I always knew, you know, and very closely observed was Gita and Nagu. Okay. Uh, I thought otherwise they were all very conservative and very different kind of people. And today I was expecting a very different uh, team and I'm, I'm very surprised that I'm seeing a completely uh, a different uh, class of people here. So I did one thing, I told him, because you know what, the last 16 years of my experience, okay, I studied my management in IIM Bangalore, you know, how a, an MBA should not be delivered is what I, you know, I think I would uh, say. I mean, they're still sticking to old practices, but today it has changed. I said, can I put the entire curriculum of an MBA from an entrepreneur's perspective? Because the MBA curriculum that has been created or what is being run today is all from how do you be a good CEO, how do you be a good employee, how do you be a good manager? It's not about how do you be a good entrepreneur at all. I said, can I put my 16 years of startup experience into a single program and I have put it into about 63 concepts. If these 63 concepts somebody masters, I think you will be the best startup CEO ever. So I said, give me an opportunity to deliver this program because for me it's a startup again, the program is a startup. So I need a test bed to, you know, <laughs> deliver it and see where it works. So that's the vested interest. So I've offered him that. In case that works, probably we'll do that program shortly. So coming back, entrepreneurship, everybody is thinking about today. I speak in colleges, I speak in various forums about entrepreneurship. The general belief or the general perception of our entrepreneurship is people believe entrepreneur, what do you want to become? Ambani, Narayan Murthy, Bill Gates, you know, Google. These are the kind of names that are there. But I'm saying entrepreneurship is far different, very, 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 very different from just being that. According to me, I believe that a business is a process which is repeatable and which can make money. If not, it is a hobby. A repeatable process which will consistently make money according to me is business. I'm sure if you look at all your successful businesses, you will agree that this definition of business is the most simplest definition. 
a process which means that there is no ad hoc step 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, you consistently keep repeating it, you consistently keep making money. So this business according to me, I believe has only the following components. The first component is about we creating a value. The value is in the form of a product or a service. Why do we create a value? We create a value to solve the problem for one or many. It could be an individual, a group or an organization. Many people I have seen have not been able to, I wouldn't say failure, have not been able to succeed in their initial attempts because they all think that they have created a, a value. Entrepreneurship in essence is just all about problem solving. If you have solutions to a lot of existing problems, the first thing, it's not just about me creating a solution for a problem. The next step is, are there enough people who want to solve that problem? And the third step is, are they willing to pay to solve the problem? So you coming out of the value or service, I mean a product or a service, which is your value creation to solve a particular problem, people willing to solve that problem at a cost and there are enough number of such people who want to consistently keep solving that problem, I think you have a fantastic business in hand. Today the whole world is talking about Ola and Uber, right? But I think Ola and Uber is not about a taxi service alone. It's not about a cab service alone. There is a much different problem that they are solving. What do you think Ola is trying to do? What problem are they solving for us? Convenience? No, much deeper. Convenience is yes, at the periphery. What is it that they are actually trying to address? A very big problem they are trying to solve. Probably I'll give you an example, you will be able to understand this. Ten years back, whenever I used to travel out and come back to Central Station at 5 a.m. in the morning, I know an auto would be cheaper, but I would call a Bharati called taxi to pick me up and drop me at home, though it was costly. Why? Amen. No image. Going to my home and as an entrepreneur, I think there's nothing called image at all. Time. Yeah? Time. Time. No. What is this convenience? She said convenience. There's something much deeper. The experience. What is that? So what do you mean by that? Yeah? I did not want the argument with an auto driver early morning. Bargaining. First, you go to your home address. You can see the document in the document. The typical order driver is located. Yeah? Say, sir, you have to go. Why do you have to go? Why do you have to go? Say, sir, say, sir. And the argument is something that I did not want. Many people did not want. Uber or Ola is all only a further incremental innovation of Bharati Contaxi. Transparency in the system. I said if there is transparency, people are willing to pay. One segment is willing to pay. I started my first business called eGurukul.com. I was working with NIIT as the regional head till 2000, uh, yeah, till 1997 to 1999. And early 2000, a couple of my friends, but from I am Calcutta, they had started eGurukul. They were on the verge of getting their second round of funding. Their first round of funding was about uh, 2.5 million dollars from Chrysalis Capital. The second round was from a gentleman called Rupert Murdoch of Newscom, Star TV. Okay, he was willing to fund 10 million dollars, which was about 45 crores at that point of time. But he said, you know what, guys, the concept is good, your content is good, but you don't have a sales guy. You get your sales guy, and then I will fund you. So the only sales guy that they knew was me. I have all through been a salesman and even today I am not ashamed to talk about it, I am a salesman, right? I think if we do not know to sell, we can never be successful on the products. The level at which we sell may differ from time to time, but selling is what it is all about. So coming back, they said, uh, where are you? I said, I am in Chennai in a meeting. Okay, we are in Hong Kong, uh, we are reaching Delhi in a couple of hours and from there we are taking the next flight to Chennai. We meet at Taj uh, uh, on Mount Road, uh, what is it called? Taj Koromandal? No. Uh, Kanimara. Kanimara at about close to midnight in the coffee shop. I said, what is the hurry? No, no, you come. And three hours, they convinced me to resign my job from NIT. Yeah? And I said, look, for two months notice. What is the notice pay? We pay NIT to get relieved. 
to get your relief the next day. When bhayankara temptation, bhayankara inspiration, okay? Why, you know, you get equity, sweat equity. You are an entrepreneur. I am not a person. I am not a person. I am not a person. 6.30, she was lying down. Very good. But vertical, she became horizontal. Horizontal, she became vertical. What did I say? That was the only one word which blindly gave me the support and she said, Aaru Masa, I can't manage my family. You can't do one thing. If you can't do one thing, you can't do anything. You can't do anything. You can't do anything. If you cannot do anything in six months, believe me, it's not an idea worth pursuing. The art of letting go is a very important skill required in an entrepreneur. Alright? That Gita and Nahu are awesome, not because they let me go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gita was so very emotionally attached to an education business earlier. I'm talking about, I know them for about a decade now, 10 years. Yeah. Uh, Sun I take, if I remember. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And Orange Computer Education and you know all that. Today you ask them about education, they say no, no, no. We are infrastructure. You know, we are, uh, I call them, I'm in Dubai. Okay, evening I call them, I'm in Saudi. The next day I call them in Singapore. So, Modi got into the yard with the Ixia. All right. More Gita and less of Nala. All right. So, coming back, learning to let go. Okay. So, before that, six months she said, if you do something, you do it. Otherwise, you cannot do it. So, two lessons one, take risk. The second lesson is, in six months, if you cannot turn around an idea, I think it's not worth pursuing it. All right. So, with these two, next day morning I go to NIT. I do my resignation. No, no, this is not correct. We cannot relieve you. You know, there is a notice period. Then I do the check, saying this is the notice. I get relieved. Next day morning, Delhi, presentation, uh, report for Dog, and we go to Singapore, make a presentation. I want a quarter of this company. I for 26%. They invest 10 million dollars. We come back. Forget internet penetration. I am talking about 2000. Even PC penetration was pathetic in this country. Yeah, and especially in Tamil Nadu, sitting here, I'm driving sales for the whole thing. We did about 18 crores uh, turnover within the first year. So it was only concept selling, trying to go and tell them how internet bridges the gap and you know all that. But in less than that, in the next two three months, we sold the company to NIT again. NIT bought us out. I didn't want to go to NIT for a job again, so I said, "We are not Panlame." I said, "What is the opportunity available?" Today, if you want to order foods, I mean, uh, fruits and vegetables online, you have what? Big basket, palm fresh. You have a world of them, all of them with a 80 million, 100 million, 200 million valuation. Yeah? Way back in 2000, just go to Google and uh, try pookaikani.com. In 2000, I started pookaikani.com. Very much ahead of its time. And you won't believe me. I had 3,500 paying customers in Chennai city alone. Registered users, average purchase would be 100, you know, 100 rupees. Mine was very clear. Market price, if you run your startup properly, and the product somebody will do something for us. Either number, city or industry, focus for now. We are not focused on what we have to do. This is a hard thing. You can do it. Parker the putting it. Now, if you are sitting down, if you can detach yourself from what you are doing and focus on it for 180 days. And if you are not able to see success, just drop it. But without the 180 days of solid effort, don't ever conclude that any business is not working. With this learning, I have an initiative right now called Startup to Scale Up. What is it that I do? There are young entrepreneurs who keep coming. Yeah, They have an idea. They do not know how to take it to the next level. How to validate the product. How to validate the market. How to do price discovery. How to raise money. So I be with them, I pick up a small sweat equity in the company and consult them, mentor them, give them a business plan, give them a go-to-market strategy, out of which at least three companies in the last three years have raised collectively about $30 million till now. So that's what I am doing. And when they raise that money, I exit. With that, my role in that uh, thing is over. So I think thank you for the opportunity. Any questions? I'm always around. And I think it was a great way to begin on Sunday. Thank you so much, Nam. Thank you.